Chateaubriand, if you go to Dubai, you're going to get shit on. Dubai is not one of them places. Like it would be like somebody telling you, um, it'd be like somebody saying, um, I love cheese steaks. They my favorite thing. You'd be like, where you live? And they'd be like, Philly. He's like, well, what's the problem? We ain't got no good cheese steaks out here. I got to go somewhere else, and I got to. No, no, motherfucker. Philly is the place for that. What are you talking about? You're not going to be able to shit on that. She found out I found her money yesterday? Right, right. I bought her all that shit, then stole her money, then I ain't got none. Mm-hmm. A lie, I don't care who tell it. Why do they put on their notifications to hate on me? You just answered your own question, Skrilla 100. Right. No alcohol in Dubai. That bitch out there lying to you, sir. I'm just in Dubai getting fucked up, having a good time. No, you're not. You're getting shit upon. For sure. For Shigadale. Yes, yes. Them Saudi Arabians couldn't stop eating when they knew you was on your way. They said, uh, give us the Saudi Arabian platter, if you will. Because why? They know for a fact that you ain't been shit upon until you get there. See, they do it in a group. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be like a private party, and they lay there, and just everybody shits on them. You know what I'm saying? That the reason they do that, it's not that they love to shit on people. I don't want y'all to think that this is some nasty, filthy thing that the Saudi Arabians is doing. It's not like that. What it is is a lot of times these hoes, and I'm, I'm not talking about uh, promiscuousness. Do what I want to do. I get his pussy to whoever I want to. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about when you a hoe. I'm saying. When you are a full-fledged professional prostitute, then um, to get the big money, you have to be willing to do big things. Um, you've already sucked all the dicks, and you know that that pays between twenty to five hundred dollars. Twenty being you, and five hundred being Corinne. And uh, so you know that you can't really up that price. Um, and as far as pussy goes. If you had great pussy, you wouldn't be a hoe in the first place. Uh, most hoes have regular, basic, run-of-the-mill pussy, um, or else, or else you would just hit one lick with your vagina and live off that lick, and then you would hit another vagina lick and live off of that. But when you have regular vagina, that's not very special, or you lazy in bed, or um, your vagina look like. Um, like hazels, where it's just, I mean, it is a vagina, but it's not a pretty one, you know what I mean, like, the curtains is a little bit too loose, and, there's no such thing as a fucked up clitoris, but it shouldn't be hanging all out the package, because that's, if you remember, she also uh, got the pussy rejuvenation when she left me. That was the first thing she did was to get that pussy rejuvenated because cause I'm a dog. Uh, I'm a dog. And if, if you only, uh, if you'll only judge me by the content of my dick character, then uh, I'd kind of like to make it unpleasant for you. If you must know. I fuck you with a modus operandi. I say to myself in the bathroom in the mirror before I walk into your bedroom. Tear this down, kid. Tear it down. So my point is, when they are going to these exotic places to get those big time checks, everybody's shitting on you because they need to know that you're not going to flip the switch, you know what I mean, like after, they don't play that. So you're not going to be able to come in this room and then start talking about who get the pussy and who don't. And then that's why they let everybody shit on you because once you, once we've re recorded you being shit on, I'm saying, what you going to say no to, you know, you just... 
willingly let strangers defecate on you. The fact that you fucked me. Kind of goes without saying. But yeah. That pussy's awful. She ain't got no melanin. So some people don't believe in God. And when you don't believe in God, it's like a fucked up thing. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't be with her because she didn't like what God did. You know what I mean? God gave you that nose. You can shit on it. You can say, I wish I had another one. But don't. It's so disrespectful for you to take off the nose that God gave you and put another nose on there and think that, oh, okay, God God could have done this and made me okay, but he chose not to. He chose to give me a hooked up fucking nose. And, and you know, like, I, like, I'm not fucking you if there's some shit I need you to fix. You know what I mean? Saying, I, I like you if I'm fucking you. That's a given. So. Jay, that's what they after, man. And don't disrespect Michael Jackson like that, Florida boy. Michael Jackson was a man who gave us everything he had. She might have Jay Stone, and if she did, then I, I'm not going to ever say nothing else. Not didn't know her black history, Mary. Don't give a fuck. It's just what happens when you, like, if you got light skinned babies in your family, like, you got to, you have to help them. Like, if they really light skinned, like paper bag light, you gotta, you gotta explain to them that one drop of melody is, um, right. Right, uh, little fingers. Uh, she might have said that that's why she does. I don't, I don't do that drug. I, and I don't need, don't do that drug. I don't do the drug that it's a derivative of. So. No, I never wear contact.